With a talented pool of swimmers, Kenya used its experience to score points. The defending champions were victorious in four events. They dominated the men's 800-meter freestyle, the women's 100-meter backstroke, and 200-meter freestyle relay. Awari Danielle rushed ahead in the 100-meter backstroke, clocking 1 minute 6.14 seconds, leaving South Africa's Balo Nadia and Naidu Melody of Mauritius behind. Kenya's Hamdan Bayasut was in a class of his own as he swam to gold in the 100-meter backstroke before crowning the evening with another gold in the men's 200-meter freestyle. On whole for the team, we are, we've performed well. We've uh, swooped around, I think, at least 10, 15 medals just today. Um, and I can't say it's not only me, it's all of us here, and we're working really hard. The host nation, Uganda, picked up five medals, three of them gold in the sprint hits, but struggled to find the rhythm in the distance event. With countries like Kenya and Zambia dominating, other competing nations were left to play catch up. Of course, we always get nervous because that's what competitions bring you, the nervousness. And I think it's very, it's hard for us because we know that there, we have our teammates and the other teammates also, they, they have better times or they worse. And we have to be really prepared, like we have to train for it before we come here. After day one, Kenya leads the combined team standings by more than 80 points. Second place goes to Zambia, while Angola sits in third. Hosts Uganda are currently six. Kenya have put themselves in a comfortable position to win this year's title. With more points already in the bag, the defending champions are showing no signs of slowing down just yet, going into the second day of competition tomorrow. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala.